Air Chinese elephant. Behold a wise woman who had built her house. She feared the Lord and walked in the right path. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. Today, our Mother Church celebrated St. Monica, the mother of St. Augustine, and we know that through her prayer that St. Augustine was able to convert it and uh, to become a bishop and the saints of the church. So let us uh, come before the Lord. We know ourselves need conversions, and uh, we pray also for conversion of our children and conversion of the world. Let us come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins, and uh, ask God for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who consoled the sorrowful, and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine. Grant through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and fight, and fight the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus Christ that as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. <coughs> this is the will of God, your holiness, that you refrain from immorality, that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God not to take advantage of or exploit a brother or sister in this matter. For the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you before and solemnly affirmed. For God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this, disregards not a human being, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. 
Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, Lord you just. just. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Vigilant at all times and pray that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oils with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all become drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise one replied, No, there may be not enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it. The, bride, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, Stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. And when I was grew up in China, and uh, I, I, was, I was often telling a story about my mother, and my mother known that God has given her children and six of them. So in her life, she really constantly reminding himself, yes, God has given children. All the children God has given me shall go to heaven. Therefore, she always educated us with faith and always asked us to pray. And she, the most 
fear for sin that uh, she could fear is that uh, she will lose, when she doesn't want to lose anybody of us. So that's why she doesn't make, she didn't make any compromise regarding faith. Uh, she always uh, reminds us that uh, faith is the most important thing in our life. And uh, she also know that uh, faith it's an indispensable part of our life. And she always uh, pray for us. She educated uh, each of us. And uh, she, the only fear that she has that is we may lose our faith. Thank God, as we, uh, after a few years she passed away, we are all faithful disciples of Jesus Christ. And we continue to follow uh, our Lord, though Sometimes we do have fault and we do have sin, but uh, thank God that we are s still with the Lord. And uh, that's the faith that Monica has today. We remember her memory. And uh, so Monica uh, married uh, a man who also was a pagan. And uh, she desired to pass her faith to St. Augustine. And she prayed for her husband. Uh, her husband was able to convert before her death, uh, before his death. And yes, Saint Monica, I uh, know that uh, Saint Augustine left her, and uh, Augustine had to uh, go astray uh, to seek the worldly pl pleasure. But she never gave up, and uh, she continually praying for his conversion. And no matter where he goes, and sh she and her pl prayer always uh, follow him. So we know what happened after many years of prayer. So Augustine eventually uh, converted. So that's a motherly love. That's uh, the power of motherly prayer before God. And we know God always hear uh, unconditional love. Uh, uh, prayer of love. So that's why St. Augustine was uh, uh, able to convert it and uh, follow Jesus Christ and become a saint in our church. And uh, through his uh, writing and uh, through his uh, teaching, uh, we know he, he has contributed a lot to the church. And so today we hear in the gospel that uh, Jesus compare the kingdom of God with uh, ten virgins. And five of them very wise, and five of them are foolish. And uh, five of them did not really prepare anything for the, to, to meet the bridegroom. And when the bridegroom came, and they were, they, they run out of oil in their lamps, they have, go, they have to go and to get it. But the, the five wise virgin, they were totally prepared uh, to meet the bridegroom. They were able to go into the wedding feast with the bridegroom. So that's our life. And uh, really, our life is a really relationship with God. And in our prayer, in participating in the sacrament, and constantly be ready for Jesus coming into, into our life. Uh, for the, to receive that grace and that presence of Jesus Christ. But uh, if our life is just like uh, uh, whenever we really have a need, we come to the Lord to ask. But uh, if we do not have any need, uh, we do not pray, we do not uh, participate uh, in that relationship with the Lord, then we are foolish. So like uh, St. Monica, and uh, she, no matter what, uh, constantly live uh, her life with prayer, a prayer for St. Augustine, a pray for her husband, and a pray probably for everybody, everybody's conversion. And uh, we too, and our life, our faith, is about our relationship. And we have to constantly come to the Lord, no matter in what situation, and we be ready for the grace and for the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Especially when the moment come 
and uh, we are really ready to welcome our Lord into our life, uh, even in the toughest time of our life, uh, even during the trials. Uh, we know that uh, the Lord is always there to meet each of us. So let us uh, come to our Lord, and we are not called to be missionaries, go to other part of the world to bring Jesus to people, but uh, we are called missionaries also at our home. And uh, think about uh, how many children of us and uh, how many people, young people, have left uh, the church and uh, they have uh, gone astray and uh, we need to pray for them. A lot of our parents have <laughs> has, uh, come to me and uh, think, uh, uh, really lament or see my children no longer come to church. What shall I do? Of course, uh, prayer is a sure thing we need to offer to the Lord and pray for young people. And uh, another thing is really set a good example for them to follow. And uh, so Monica must be a very good mother and uh, she had uh, set a good example for St. Augustine to really pound them and God's goodness in her. So let us honor her and offer our prayer for the young generation who have abandoned the church. And we pray for their convergence. Through our baptism, we are members of Christ's body, the church. We pray now that we may be worthy of the vocation to which we are called. The church is the bride of Christ. Eagerly awaiting his coming, may we never be distracted from that watchfulness. Let us pray to the Lord. Our privilege of taking part in the Eucharist is in anticipation of our entry to the great marriage feast of the kingdom of the Lord. May we always celebrate that Eucharist with faith and joyful hope. Let us pray to the Lord. The church, like Christ, is to be a sign of reconciliation to the world. May we work in every way for peace and justice in the place where we live. Let us pray to the Lord. That the church calls to life and conversion of all who hear the word of Christ. May we always receive the poor and the needy, the weak and the sinful, and all who need hope and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. The church is always a sign of hope in the kingdom of God. May we be mindful of those who have gone before us to the place of refreshment, light, and peace. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for peace in Afghanistan, and we pray especially for those families who have lost their loved ones, and we remember all these 13 Marine uh, who have died yesterday for them, for our country, and uh, for peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all our beloved deceased. And we pray for Carmen de Rosario, and may she rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Now, in the silence of our heart, we pray offer our own personal prayers. For the prayers 
Let us pray to the Lord. Father, you are the people you have. We are the people you have chosen as your own, and we give thanks. Be our protection and our help at all times, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, kill him before praise and glory of God. For our good, good of his holy church. We bring you this sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate blessed Saint Monica, humbly entreating that they may be, be they may bestow on us both pardon and the salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confess, confession of your sins, you made your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lets us courage, their fervent prayers to stay us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Carmen and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, uh, blessed Saint Monica, Saint Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, Lord and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on the feast day of blessed Saint Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
a message and it go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs>